In today's video, I'll show you how to recover lost as well as permanently deleted files from your Windows computer. I know how annoying it is. You might have accidentally deleted a file or accidentally have formatted your computer. Do not worry, I got your back and all you need to do is just stick to this video. We're starting right now. What's going on YouTube? My name is Shaq and welcome to Fixed by Shaq. In this channel, I help you fixing a lot of tech issues from home. So if you're into tech content, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you do not miss my next video. In today's video, I'll be showing you a quick way and easy way to restore lost or permanently deleted files from your Windows PC. I know how annoying it is you might have accidentally deleted a file and you might have thought that there's no other way of recovering permanently deleted files, but there is a way of recovering. And I'll be talking about a very simple and easy method to recover files that have been permanently deleted from your computer by using a simple software that helps you doing this. Before we jump straight into the tutorial or video, I'd like to talk a bit about how is it possible to recover a file that has been permanently deleted. You might be asking yourself, how is that even possible? In order to understand this, we need to know the basic of how files are written into our hard disk inside our computer. So basically, when you store files in your hard disk in your computer, your computer saves all those files and when you permanently delete them, they don't actually physically get deleted right away. They obviously disappear from your computer folder from your screen, but the files are still saved in your disk until you store new information in your disk. So basically when you store new information in your disk, the new information overwrites the previous files that were in your disk. So if you have deleted files recently from your disk and you haven't stored new information in your disk yet, chances are that you can still recover your files from your disk because the files haven't been overwritten by new information yet. If that makes any sense to you, if you could understand, that's how basically it works. So if you're watching this video right now and you still wanna recover data, make sure that you do not save any new file in your disk right now at this moment in your hard disk in your computer just follow the steps of this video till the end and do not save new data in your computer as of now until you watch this tutorial till the end without further ado let's jump straight into the tutorial so here we are giving a look at the software that is going to help us recovering our files that have been accidentally deleted from our computer okay so this is the software it's called wondershare recovered and you guys can download it from this website do not worry i've got the link uh to this particular website in the description box below and all you need to do is just tap here on download in order to download the software the download is going to start uh, as fast as possible and then all you need to do is just tap here once on the setup in order to install the software okay so this is how the software looks like and we have several types of scans in here in order to find files that have been permanently deleted so we very firstly have the deep scan where normally we scan our entire disk okay so in order to scan our entire disk we need to select the disk we just need to tap here once on scan as you guys can see i've got my disk c here and i've got another disk in here so if i tap on scan it's going to scan my entire disk for lost files this is the type of scan which is called the deep scan and it's a scan that people normally perform when they lost all data on their disks for example if they've accidentally formatted their pc or something related to that take note that this is a scan that takes a lot of time because it recovers all your data that has been lost okay so we also have another type of scan which is more specific for example if you've lost a file that was located in a particular folder that you know exactly where it was located you can actually scan a particular folder by tapping here on select folder let me just tap for example here on select folder i can directly select the path of the folder where the file was located and then i can tap on ok in order to scan that particular 
particular folder. I can also paste here the path of that particular folder if I don't want to navigate manually to that particular folder. And then I just tap here on OK and it's going to initiate a quick scan in order to find all the files that have been deleted that were located in that particular folder. How cool is that? I find this feature really, really cool because it's also fast because since we do not need to scan our entire computer, it takes much less time. But in situations where you forgot where your file was located, you'll have to go through the deep scan in here. You can also scan directly the desktop as you guys can see in here. You can also select, for example, my documents in here and many, many other folders located in here. On this software, you can also scan external USB drives. For example, if you have had a USB drive that has been formatted or that contains a file that have been accidentally deleted from that particular USB drive, all you need to do is just connect it to your computer and then it's gonna show up here on external drive section. All you need to do is just tap on that particular USB drive in order to scan that USB drive. This is a very, very, very cool feature that allows you to scan external USB drives by simply connecting them to your computer. Okay, so in my case, for example, I'm gonna perform a quick scan uh, just to showcase how this works. I'm gonna perform a quick scan on a file in here. Okay, so I'm gonna tap here and select folder because I wanna scan for a specific folder on my computer. So let me just quickly navigate here. I've got, um, my disk C, I've got users, I've got uh, delegate, it's the name of my user in my computer and I've got desktop and I've got files. For example, I wanna scan for files on this folder named as files. This folder is this folder right here on my desktop and as you guys can see here, I've got a few files but I had previously here a few files as well. So let me just quickly scan in here by tapping on OK to see if the software finds a few files on my folder named as files. So now the software is performing a quick scan and all I need to do is just wait for a couple minutes. I need to be patient and wait until the scan process is complete. We are now on 34% as you guys can see here and we already have four files that have been found here from that particular folder that I've selected. So let's wait a couple more minutes and wait till the process is complete. So as you guys can see here, the scan process is complete and we've got here a message which says scan completed 733 files have been found. So let me tap here on OK. And as you guys can see here, we've got three categories of files. We've got my path in here, which is the one I've selected, which is users, delegate and desktop uh, and then files. And then we've got here two more extra categories, which are unsourced files and file lost location. What does this mean? This means that sometimes uh, since files um, recover process is not very accurate. Sometimes your file is located, but the path of where that file was exactly located has been forgotten by the computer. So in that case, your file is found, but the path is not found. So if you do not find your file here in these folders, do give a look in one of these uh, for sections in here to see if you can find your file because you can also find your files in one of these categories if it's not found in your folder. So let me tap here in file and as you guys can see, I've got here an image that has been recovered uh, from my folder. As you guys can see here, I've got uh, a folder, I've got two other files, but I did not have these files. So this is a file that has been recovered from my desktop folder known as files. So all I need to do in order to recover the file is select, okay, mark that particular file and tap here on recover in order to recover. Next up, I just need to tap the path where I wish to save that particular file. Let's say that I'm gonna save it for example, on users, uh, a delegate, and then I'm gonna save it to my desktop, okay? Uh, I can tap here on desktop, and then I can write tap here on recover, and then tap on save. So the recover process has been completed, and I can now locate my file here on uh, desktop. So I've got here the 
path that I've created and here we go I've got my file in here that has been recovered which is my image right here so over here we also have got a few files that I've said before which the path or the location of the file has been lost okay I've got here a small logo beta I've got logo dev I've got a lot of files in here one of the advantages of this software is that you can also preview the file before opening by double clicking on the picture okay or on the file so you can preview the file before you recover the file so I'm running a paid version of this software and uh, before buying the software I recommend you to performing a scan on your computer and then previewing the files so if your files open correctly then only I recommend you guys to buy the software and then recover the files because sometimes since it's a recover process the files recover process is not 100% accurate it might be the case that your file has been overwritten or lost and that this method won't work perfectly for you so instead of buying the software and then not working in your situation uh, make sure you preview the files before you recover them by means of paying this software so this was it for today guys thank you so much for watching today's video if this video really really helped you do like the video subscribe to the channel and do not forget to leave a comment down below it helps me in getting recommended here on the platform and by getting recommended i can reach out to more people and it consequently help more people facing the same problem as yours my goal is to reach out to as many people as possible so i can help out as many people as possible thank you so much for watching fixed by shack and i'll see you in the next one peace